In this video, we're going to talk about our new Canon C300 Mark II PL modification kit. The kit includes the PL mount with cap, a shim set for adjusting the back focus, 2mm Allen wrench, and a jeweler style screwdriver. The first step is to use the jeweler style screwdriver and remove the six screws on the front of the camera faceplate. We want to be very careful not to strip the screw heads. We'll set the six screws aside and reinstall them later. Next, we can remove the faceplate. And then we'll loosen the four silver screws around the EF mount. These may be tight, so be very careful not to strip them. Just put a lot of pressure using the screwdriver. Once we set the four screws aside, we're ready to remove the EF mount. And we want to make sure that we keep these silver shims installed when we do so. We can set this aside for installation later if we want to go back to an EF mount. Next, we'll take the PL mount, remove the cap, and then separate the front portion from the rear portion by using our 2mm Allen wrench. We'll just loosen these six screws and set them aside. Now that we've removed the six screws, we can separate the PL mount into two pieces. You see that we have the blue shim installed, which is the correct shim for the C300 Mark II, but we'll double check that later. Now we can install the back plate onto the front of the C300 Mark II. We'll align the locating pins and screw holes and drop this into place. We want to make sure that the silver shim remains in the correct position. Next, we can reinstall the four silver screws onto the camera. Now that that's tight, we're ready to reinstall the faceplate using the six screws that we took out previously. Just align the faceplate, push it into place, and then reinstall the screws. Next, we can reinstall the front half of the PL mount by aligning the two locating pins. And we want to make sure that the locating pin for the PL lenses is in the front top right corner. Align the two pins, make sure the blue shim is aligned as well. And now we can reinstall the six M2.5 screws using our Allen wrench. Now that we've installed the front half of the PL assembly, we're ready to double check our back focus using a back focus calibration tool like the DEN system we have here. We'll simply install this on the front of the PL mount. lock it in place, and now you can see that the red line is directly in the center, meaning that our back focus is accurate. This product is available in our store now.